Welcome to Esoteric Thoughts. The New Testament Gospels completely lack any information about Jesus after his birth up until the age of 12 years old. The infancy Gospel of Thomas, written by a character claiming to be Thomas prior to 180 AD, is about the childhood of Jesus from the age of 5 to 12 years old. This book caused a lot of controversy and was rejected by the early church despite its direct quotations from the Gospel of Luke. The text reveals a rather disturbed and uncontrollable child. Scenes from this story are actually present in churches around the world today and is often referenced in the Quran which will be explained at the end of the video. Here is a summary of the story as per the text. The story starts with Jesus, aged five years, playing near a pool on the Sabbath with other children. By his words alone, he commanded the waters to be clean and then made twelve birds out of clay. A man passing by went and told Jesus' father, Joseph, that he was playing on the Sabbath day. Joseph shouts at Jesus that him playing on the Sabbath was not lawful, but Jesus ignores him claps his hands and said to the clay birds, go, and the birds flew away. A young boy standing nearby took a tree branch and dispersed the water which Jesus had gathered. Jesus got angry and cursed him, saying, O evil, ungodly and foolish one, what hurt did the pools and the waters do thee? Behold, now also thou shalt be withered like a tree, and shall not bear leaves, neither root nor fruit. And straight away the young boy withered up. As Jesus was walking through the village, a child ran and bumped into his shoulder. Jesus got angry and said, Thou shalt not finish thy course. And the child immediately fell down and died. The parents of the dead boy complained to Joseph about Jesus slaying children in the village. Jesus didn't take kindly to the parents complaining, so he struck the parents with blindness. Onlookers were so afraid, they said, whatever Jesus says, good or bad, was a deed and a marvel. Joseph got angry and tried to discipline Jesus by grabbing him by the ear, to which Jesus replied, It sufficeth thee to seek and not to find, and verily thou hast done unwisely. Knowest thou not that I am thine? Vex me not. A teacher by the name of Zacchaeus observed these events and spoke to Joseph, offering to teach Jesus. But Jesus rebuked him, telling him that he was not worthy to teach him. Zacchaeus felt embarrassed and praised Jesus as a knowledgeable master, not born of this earth. Jesus laughed and said, Now let those bear fruit that were barren, and let them see that were blind in heart. I am come from above that I may curse them, and call them to the things that are above, even as he commanded, which has sent me for your sakes. Immediately after saying these words, every one the five-year-old Jesus previously cursed was made whole and healed. No one dared to provoke him, for fear of being cursed, killed or maimed. A few days later, Jesus was playing with a group of children, when one of the children suddenly fell down and died. The parents of the dead boy accused Jesus of killing him despite his denials. Jesus stood by the body of the child and cried out with a loud voice and said, Zeno, arise and tell me, did I cast thee down? And straight away the boy arose from the dead and said, Nay, Lord, thou didst not cast me down, but did raise me up. A few days later, a young man was chopping wood in the neighbourhood and accidentally cut his foot on an axe losing so much blood he was about to die. Upon hearing of this accident, Jesus ran through the crowd, held the man's foot and healed it. Now when he was six years old, his mother Mary sent him to get some water in a pitcher, but by accident Jesus broke the pitcher. He removed the clothes he was wearing, filled it with water and brought it to his mother. And when Mary saw this miracle, she kissed him and kept the mystery acts he performed a secret. When he was eight years old, he was sowing wheat with Joseph. He performed another miracle 
and reaped the corn, producing loads of wheat. He called the poor of the village and gave them food. A while later, Joseph was doing some carpentry and had two pieces of wood, one longer than the other. Jesus took hold of the shorter beam and stretched it to make it the same length. Joseph saw it and marvelled, and he embraced and kissed him, saying, Happy am I, for that God hath given me this young child. One day, Joseph took Jesus to another teacher to learn Greek and Hebrew. Jesus questioned the teacher who got very angry and hit Jesus on the head. Jesus cursed the teacher and straight away the teacher fell to the ground. An upset Joseph said to Mary, Let him not forth without the door, for all they die that provoke him to wrath. After some time, Joseph took Jesus to yet another teacher. Jesus walked into the school and started to teach the law to a growing crowd of people around him. When Joseph heard that Jesus was teaching and not the teacher, he feared for the life of the teacher, so he went to the school. The teacher spoke highly of Jesus' wisdom, and because the teacher did not lie, Jesus smiled and healed the previous teacher who hit him on the head. One day, Joseph sent his sons, James and Jesus, on an errand, and the snake bit James on the hand. Jesus breathed on the bite, and immediately the pain ceased, and the snake died. Another tragedy happened in the village, and Jesus went to see the body of a child who had died. Jesus touched the dead body and said, I say unto thee, child, die not, but live and be with thy mother. And immediately the child came back to life. And Jesus said to the mother, Take him up and give him milk, and remember me. In another event, Jesus saw a man laying dead, and took hold of his hand and said, Man, I say to thee, arise and do thy work. And immediately he arose and worshipped him. When Jesus was twelve years old on Passover, he went to Jerusalem without his parents knowing. After three days of his parents looking for him, they found him in the temple, teaching doctors, elders and teachers. An upset Mary told Jesus that they were concerned about him. Jesus replied, Why seek ye me? Know ye not that I must be in my father's house? The child Jesus is written about as a self-taught young boy, capable of supernatural acts, raising people from the dead and multiplying food to feed the poor. Miracles he is written about as performing as an adult. But it also displays a rather disturbing side to this child, one quick to kill, maim, punish and curse. A child whose parents have no control over and at times are scared of him. It paints an unflattering picture of Jesus and the household of Mary and Joseph. But why is this so far-fetched compared to the stories approved to be in the Bible? We have been so conditioned to believe the books in the Bible that we struggle with anything outside the Bible, even though both sets of stories may sound ridiculous and unbelievable. Earlier, I mentioned that even the Quran makes mention of some parts of this story relating to the clay birds coming to life and raising people from the dead. In another video, we will explore this further and also look at why Jesus is mentioned in the Quran in the first place. Thank you.